Hello Kriyo Gurus. I hope you are doing great today. Today I'll teach you how to prepare for your first class. Your first class is your first face-to-face -face interaction with your student. The first class will decide whether you will get the tuition or not. On an average, a well-prepared guru converts 2 out of 3 classes into a booking. So, let's learn how to be prepared for your first class. I'll teach you some of the few things you must do before the first class. As soon as the demo date is finalized and is shown on your guru app you should do following first brush up the subject that is if you have the class for 10th mathematics review all the chapter names and make a mental note of the basic contents of these chapters second prepare one chapter preferably choose the chapter which must be going on at that time for example in november some chapter around middle of the book must be going on If you are going on for a revision for a competitive course, prepare first chapter if nothing is specified by your Creo buddy. Third, you can always call the customer using Creo extension via your Creo Guru app. In case you have any doubts regarding the location, time, syllabus, etc., always address your customer as sir or ma'am. While starting a conversation, you should always tell that you are a Creo Guru. For example, "Hello ma'am, this is Creo Guru Alok." After all, your first impression is the last impression. Fourth, dress well for your first class. You should look professional and always reach on time and remember to carry a pen. Fifth, the very most important thing is not to discuss anything about payments with your customer. Even if the parents inquires about or negotiates, ask them politely to connect with Creo. If you are found talking about fees, that will be considered as a leakage and will impact your teaching career at creo most of the teachers who directly get involved with the customers do not even get their payments because if a customer can cheat creo he can cheat you as well sixth we always try our best to check that the customer is genuine but in case you find something suspicious such as the student is not available the student's description is different than what was given in your guru app do not enter the house and always inform the creo team now let's talk about what to do when your first class starts the first thing to keep in mind is that you should not start teaching right away you must first introduce yourself to the student and his parents you can always talk about your degree your prior teaching experience also you should try to know your student a bit such as his name his hobbies his favorite color his favorite subject and his least favorite subject second always have a plan a plan is very helpful For example, if you are going to teach class 10 mathematics for 24 days, you can prepare a plan on how you are going to teach and which chapters you will be covering. You can always ask the student which chapters are going on currently in his schools and prepare a plan according to that. Next, you can start the prepared topic with an interesting question from the topic. For example, if you are teaching gravity, ask if you throw an elephant and an ant from some height who will fall first on the ground. If the student does not know the answer to this, tell him at the end of the lesson he or she will be able to answer. Fourth, if you are teaching younger students, always prepare neat notes on one side of the notebook. Start writing from a fresh page and do not forget to mention the date on the top. Fifth, keep your first class very interactive. Encourage the student to ask questions and if the student is weak, go slow. Sixth, if parents are sitting next to you or interfering too much with your teaching style, don't be over conscious or angry. Be polite because most parents are very concerned about their child's education. Sometimes they do this unconsciously. Now let's talk about what you should do after your first class is over. Remember to ask your customer or student to give his feedback about the class using his Creo application. If they do not have the application, help them in downloading the same. Second, you should also give the feedback about your customer in the Creo Guru app itself. Third, Do not share your personal contact details and always ask them to contact via Creo application or using the extension. This is really important for your security and your privacy with Creo. If you convert your first class into a booking, the chances of you getting more tuition from Creo increases. If you fail to convert 3 consecutive first classes, you will not receive any further tuitions and you will be deboarded as a Creo guru. Thank you and happy teaching.